everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I've seen a couple people do this and I really like the idea. I think it's fun, interesting. I think it's new or I've never watched videos like this before until this year. So I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I purchased from Sephora this year. I was really, really good at the beginning of the year, guys. I didn't really buy a lot of makeup and if I did, it was from the drugstore or like Ulta with a coupon. Now, <laughs> my first purchase was in April. That was at Sephora and that was during their like VIB sale you know thing I think that was in April so I purchased some things and I actually have videos so if you guys want to watch it it'll be in the eye but um and then after that I kind of just went a little bit crazy and I have purchased from my friend's account I don't know I, I don't think I bought like a ton from her account but I know I did purchase a couple things I can't include that in in this video I don't know what I purchased and it doesn't even matter really so <gasps> I gotta take a deep breath. So let's get into it. I have to, let me get into my laptop. I hope you guys don't see it in the screen, no. Um, and we're gonna go over everything that I purchased. And this is gonna be really quick because I'm really, really, really trying not to spend a lot of money on makeup. So um, I really don't have a lot of stuff and I'm totally okay with that, but I still think it's gonna be an interesting video. So I'm gonna scoot over and that way I can show everything on the screen and we'll get started. I completely forgot to shut my AC off, so if you could hear it in the intro, very sorry, it's off now. So let's get this party started. Um, so I believe I bought a lot of this like in one order, starting off with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Um, I mentioned this product in a current faves and nays video and it was not a fave. Um, I actually have it right here. I am waiting to do a declutter video and I'm going to film it and I'm just like waiting to declutter this. I did not like this product at all. It just felt heavy and sticky on my skin and it didn't even give me any results. Like it didn't make my skin look like super glowy and luscious and plump. That's just me. I know a lot of people like that product and that's great for them. It just like did not work for me. It totally was not worth the money. It was $34, um, I think, because I don't think these prices include the 20% off or, or the 15% off. Totally not worth it in my opinion. I want to give it to my mom. Uh, she might like it. So if she does, I will update you guys in another video. But yeah, just waiting to do that declutter video. Um, I also purchased the Too Faced Teddy Bear It All eyeshadow palette. I just did a tutorial well i haven't posted it but i did film a tutorial using the palette this palette i've only used it once um and i was really upset with myself because i hate buying eyeshadow palettes and then using it only once so um i have a teddy bear bear it all eyeshadow palette tutorial coming up maybe after this video it's really pretty perfect for the holidays i really like the palette a lot um i don't know if i'm in love with this new like Too faced I don't know palette thingy like I like their tin palettes like the chocolate bar the cinnamon swirl I like that style better I'm not sure how I feel about this new packaging it is very sleek and thin but um, I don't know like I'm an old-school girl tin packaging for sure um, but the shadows as always you know Too Faced has for me I love Too Faced eyeshadows they're so easy to use the mattes are so just like they're just so easy. They're perfect. They're not dry. They're not patchy. This is a beautiful color story. Yes, it's nothing new. It's nothing cool and exciting, but I feel like people would use those shades on a daily basis. Look, sorry, I was talking way too long, but people will use these shades on a daily basis. So it's a nice neutral palette. Do you need it in your life? No, but if you can afford it, I would pick it up. I love it. I love the all over the lid shades. They're really pretty. Like I said, the mattes, you already know about my mattes. Um, they're great. It's it's a really, really good neutral palette. Next product I'm really not in love with. It's the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Stay Vulnerable Melting Cream Blush in Nearly Neutral. I used it once in a video and I used it with my sponge and it kind of just melted away. Like I saw some pigment and then it just went away. I'm not a fan. Now I will say I am not the best at using cream products. I am practicing and I'm getting there, but I'm not the best. I will give this blush another shot. I feel like a lot of people aren't really happy with this formula. I think people like her liquid blush formula a little bit more. I wanted to try, Sephora has, well had, I don't think they have it online anymore. Um, her, her liquid blushes, I don't know what they're called, but it's like a 
trio in mini sizes. I really wanted to try that, but it was sold out online, so I wasn't able to get my hands on it. Um, but I think a lot of people like that formula better instead of this like melting cream blush formula. How do you guys feel about it? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I will give it a second shot, but Moving on to a product that I love, I am obsessed with. I use this every single day. Um, I purchased the mini Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 3 Fair. I loved it so much, I still have it. I have not gotten rid of it, but um, I loved it so much I ended up buying the full size. And this is in 3 Fair. I love this. I feel like this product isn't for everybody, um, but it just gives, it gives me some color, it gives me a nice glow, and it just makes me look a little bit more put together. It's literally like a filter. Um, I love it. And if you guys want to try it out, I would definitely try it out. Buy the mini size. I think the mini one was $15. Um, so the mini is $15. That's not bad. Try it out, and if you don't like it, then hey, you only, you know, you wasted $15. I don't know if after the first time you can like give it back to Sephora. When I worked there, you could. So if you really don't like it and you want your 15 bucks back, just return it. But I have a feeling you guys might like it. I love it. It's beautiful. I talk about it all the time. I use it. I use it every day for work and then I use it in my videos a lot. It's a great, great product. I love her so much. Um, and then we have the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Face and Under Eye Concealer. I love the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, so I figured, let me try out the concealer. It might be good. I should have known because the foundation is light coverage, and because I use like a light coverage foundation, I like to have a little bit of a heavier duty concealer. This was, number one, I didn't get my right shade. I got three very fair. Not for me. Way too light. Um, but it really, it gave like zero coverage. So I returned it, um, and I ended up buying... Oh, I'll let you guys know what I ended up buying. It's coming up next or soon. Um, so yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. Um, if you want like a light coverage concealer, it wasn't drying. It was just very, very light coverage. So if you want something with light coverage, you can try it out. It is pricey. It's $38. So I don't know. I, you know, you might find one at the drugstore. That's that's comparable. Um, so yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. And then I purchased the Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like I say her last name so weird. Tilbury? Tilbury? Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, Airbrush Flawless Long Wear Foundation. Now I got the shade 4 Neutral at first and then um, I have it in my drawer and then I think I got a lighter shade because that shade was like way too yellow. I really like this foundation. I think if you put too much on though it can look a little cakey and a little just heavy um, but I do like it. I love it for videos. Like every time I edit my videos I'm like wait what foundation did I use that day? It looks so freaking pretty beautiful be beautiful <laughs> it looks beautiful on film and videos but i feel like in person if you put too much on you're gonna look like you have a little bit of a mask on um but it's really good it's a really good foundation it's 44 dollars. i love i like the luminous silk more than this one but i don't regret buying it like i said i use it for my videos all the time so oh here it is i exchanged the four neutral to two neutral yeah and that's better for me um so yeah i really i, I like the foundation it's not my favorite um, but it's my go-to when I'm filming videos. Um, but, but yeah, and like I would wear it in person. I know I feel like I'm rambling, but I would wear it in person, but it would need to be a very, very light layer. And, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So when I returned that Luminous Silk Concealer, I picked up my baby, my favorite product in the world. I actually already put it away. I don't know what I was thinking. The Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder. It's in Satin Blanc. Guys, I was struggling. I loved the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder, but then it just stopped working for me. And I'm like, am I just getting older? I need something new. Um, and then on TikTok, someone used it underneath their eyes and it looked gorgeous. It looked flawless. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I returned that concealer, picked up the loose powder. Guys, it has saved my under eye life. Like my under eyes, don't get me wrong. My under eyes, I have wrinkles down here. They're not perfect, but let me tell you, they look good. For not being perfect under eyes, my under eyes look good. So I love this powder. I know I keep saying that I want to do, um, and maybe this kind of, you know, it kind of works out. I want to do a video, high-end products that are totally worth the money. This is next to the Luminous Silk. This is number two. Like it's totally worth the $58. Shit, it's $58. Oh my God. 
yeah, it's worth it, guys. I can't, I can't go a day without using it. It's gorgeous. Um, perfect for setting the eye, under eyes, like I've said. And then also, sometimes, well, not sometimes. When I, when I go to work, I will put the um, flawless filter all over my face, and then I will set the flawless filter with the Givenchy loose powder very lightly, and it doesn't even look like I have powder on, guys. It looks just so pretty, very skin-like, nothing crazy. So. I, I can talk about this powder for days, so I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna move on and then we get into September 13th and this is what I purchased. First thing, the Paula's Choice Mini Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Okay, so this product, everybody, everybody loves this product, guys. Um, so I was like, I, I gotta try it. Like, my skin could use some help. Let me purchase it. Um, you do need to, like all, I feel like like all skin care you do need to use this on a routine to see results so my issue is I haven't been using it in a routine at all so I'll use it like for a week straight and then not a week straight like three days out of the week and then like I won't use it the next week so I don't really know if I like it um, I haven't really seen results but also nobody talks about how uncomfortable it feels on your skin like it's not just like a toner because in some with some toners you put it on your face and it dries and it's like you have nothing on your face with this it you end up feeling a little sticky a little greasy and it's a little heavy and like I put it on and then I go to bed and I don't want my face to feel like that when I go to bed so I don't like the way it feels but um, a lot of people like it and I really need to do better at using it like on a routine like three days out of the week you know and then maybe I can give you guys a better review but um, yeah I just want to let you guys know it's not like you put it on and then you don't feel anything it has like a sticky feeling so I, I want to let you guys know because nobody that I everybody that I watch they say it's great um, you know their skin is amazing after it but they don't say how it feels on your skin so just FYI um, Oh my god okay next product I have fallen in love with at first I was like oh my god I can't believe I spent this much money on this and I don't like it um, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand in fair slash medium so as I mentioned before with the Selena Gomez product I'm not the best at creams and liquids you know I'm getting better I'm practicing now at first when I bought this I was just like it's okay like mm. and then as I practiced and I used it more and more I love it I love the way it looks on my skin guys it's so easy to blend it doesn't look patchy it doesn't look it's not like sticky so like you can't blend it out it's an amazing contour wand totally worth it um well it, it's worth it if you like to cream contour now if you don't like cream products then don't buy it um like I don't know, it, uh, unless I fall in love with cream products, like I probably won't repurchase this again. But um, in the meantime, I do like it. I like the way it looks on my skin. Like I said, very, very easy to blend and the color is really, really nice. So yeah, it depends. If you're into cream products, you gotta buy this. And if you're not into cream products, then, then don't even look at it. It's like, you know, don't worry about it. Then I picked up the Isle of Paradise Disco Tan Instant Wash Off Body Bronzer. I'm very pale, guys, so I will not leave the house in shorts if my legs aren't tanned and it's very and I just want something convenient so I wanted like a one day tan I put it on I put it on my legs I can already see the tan it's not gonna you know rub up on anything like if I sit down it's not gonna come off on my chair um, and then I wanted to be able to wash it off at night um, the thing is is that this didn't give me a lot of color at all like I was still super pale ghostly you know so I wasn't very happy with it and there is just a lot of shimmer in it um, I can get past the shimmer, but I just, I wanted more color and it didn't give it to me. So I'm not, I, I didn't really like that, that product at all. Um, but you know, I still have it. I'm not going to throw it out. I might use it in an emergency, but it's, it's not my favorite product. Then I purchased my full size of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Blech. Um, and in that same order, this is when Sephora had 20% off foundations. Um, so I got this guy and then I got the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation SPF 30. 
that is a beautiful foundation um, and it's very radiant very very glowy um, it doesn't last very long on my skin it looks beautiful my skin looks plumped um, it, it like my skin looks great I just wish it lasted a little bit longer and it can feel a little bit heavy on my skin so it's not my favorite foundation but it's still a good one I wouldn't repurchase it if you have very very dry skin and you just want something very radiant and glowy and you don't mind you know how it kind of feels on your skin then you would like this it's it's a good one um it's it's really good for dry skin if you have oily skin forget about it don't even look at this don't even look at it those were all of the products that I purchased from Sephora this year, 2021. Um, I wanna know what you guys purchased at Sephora. Like, what have you purchased and you're like in love with? And then what have you purchased that like you hate or uh, like you returned? Um, let me know, I'm very interested. I always like to comment back and like have a conversation. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.